again, when we talk about discrimi cue discrimination, we'd call this, or whatever it is, any sound or thing that we made, it could be a cue for a command for a behavior, it could be a marker, consistency of the sound matters. But for dogs, they're not words, they're sounds, right? So if I say nope and no, those are really different sounds, right? And so you could use a similar word, technically, with a very different tone of voice, right? What I try to do with all of my markers is make them stand out from my regular speaking voice. So, yes, good, nope, no, right? <laughs> and so then they all sound a little different than when I'm talking. The, the smart thing to do, though, like part of this is just habit on my part, right? So as you evolve in your training, you're gonna find that I've used certain words and certain things for a long time and you just go like, you're on autopilot for certain things. And so I think the smart thing to do would be to have them be very different sounds altogether instead of just relying on tone of voice. Although dogs are capable of discriminating tone of voice, right? I have a good friend, she's a really good dog trainer and when she taught her dog all the change of positions exercises, she's using French commands. The change of position exercises, you leave the dog at a distance and it has to sit down, stand, down, sit, stand in different orders kind of thing. And she uses French commands, but she says them in exactly the same time. She goes, ah, si, couche, tabu, right? So they, uh, the words are different, but the sounds, the way her inflection and everything is really close. So that's hard. It's harder for the dog than if she went, ah, si, kushi, dabu, like, and change the tone of voice to them. Then they stand out from each other. So does, do her dogs figure it out? Yeah, because she's consistent and does the time and does the work. And so they learn to discriminate between the subtler, closer cues, right? But that's harder for dogs. So it would be smart to have a totally different one. Like, I have lots of people say wrong and no, or whatever it's going to be, and then they're completely different. It's probably a wise way of approaching it. <laughs>